Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place, Wizard of Legend. Dude, I am like rejuvenated because of the random run. Such a great addition. Okay, you're sold out. Let's buy a bunch of stuff here. We gotta be getting close to having like every relic in the game. There we go. Relics totally stocked up. Would you like to speak with me? Oh, you will still pay 200 gold for 20 chaos gems. Absolutely. We can't be stopped. All the robes are sold out. All the lonely people, where do they live? Here, hook me up. 10 gems. 200 extra gold. Oh my god, it's like we're starting ahead of the race. We're doing a 100 meter dash, everybody else is doing a 200 meter dash. We got Flame Breath, or Flame Strike, whatever it is. Toxic Trap, the Bolus of Poison, and Ball Lightning. Permafrost cube as well, which gives us a chance to freeze enemies. Not bad. I'm at least familiar with every single one of our, uh, well, lots of status effects happening. I'm at least familiar with every single one of our, ah, that was real bad. Every single one of our arcana. I understand roughly how to use them. We got the same robe, unfortunately, but that's okay. Starting with way more gold. You know, speaking of 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, it's a very commonly known fact, but let me, uh, let me hit you with it regardless, just in case you've never heard of it. Did you know that during the 100, the 200 meter dash, I should say, sprinters typically hit a higher top speed than they do during the 100 meter dash? That means the 100 meter dash is so short that they're still accelerating by the time they hit the finish line, more or less. That's incredible. It's like the 100 meter dash is like a drag race. That blew my mind when I was a kid, because by the end of like a 100 meter dash where I was sprinting full out, I was like, I can't go any faster, I'm exhausted. But apparently, you may not have known this, but Usain Bolt is a better sprinter than I am. I actually kind of like Secret Wild Card. It randomly empowers an Arcana at the start of each floor, which means it won't be useful for us right now, but in the future will be. So I have to take, uh, we, we just had an amazing run. If for some reason you haven't seen the last run, stop watching this one, go watch that one. In all likelihood, this one will not be as good as that one was. If it is, I would be stoked. I'm not trying to, I, I would prefer if you would watch both, but if you've only got time for one, go back and watch the last one. It was a great time. Uh, this one, we're starting way less powerful than we were on the last run, so we gotta kinda, you know, slow our roll. Stop getting so in close for combat. We don't have the upgraded arcana that allow us to do that. We gotta be like a little bit more guerrilla warfare style right now. Hang back. Abuse the fact that your best arcana has range. And until you get more tools in your toolbox, just slow your roll a little bit. Did we, I, don't know, I didn't think we killed that guy. Um, this fight should actually be a little tough. Big whiff. Oh, jeez Louise. Sorry to use such strong language. So far, I would describe this as not going particularly well. There we go. We actually got in for the world's smallest combo. I think Poison got him. It's kind of a nice interrupt, actually. It's extremely bad and dumb. Two words you could use to describe those plays right there. It's okay. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, probably. I don't know, I'm not much of a historian. All I know is that all roads lead there. Don't let yourself get caught in this uh, this hangover. See what we got here. Dude, I honestly, silver spinning top slows you down too much. Volatile gemstone does something with your signature charge. But I really think, you know, we love Tiny Alligator Heart last time. It saves us from buying a heal here. And it's so early that, to me, Tiny Alligator Heart is the number one choice. I don't see how you, in good conscience, take something other than Tiny Alligator Heart there. And if we live long enough, we're going to get uh, just a, a ton of maximum HP out of this. I will say... For once, you know, we already bought an upgraded Arcana. It was a dash Arcana, so it's not mission critical uh, for damage dealing. It might help us out a lot for survival. 
but uh, we're, we're kind of lacking options right now. The problem is, uh, you know, Flame Breath is good, but we have to be right next to the enemy to make it happen. Ball Lightning is amazing. That one is in innocent in this situation. We've used that to get a lot of victories. But we don't have much damage right now because of the, uh, the Bolus. You know, it's uh, this early on, we'd much rather have some extra damage dealing. It's Fire and Lightning. Fire and Lightning damage increases, but receive more damage from Water and Earth. I can live with that. Well, Jeez Louise. Fire and Lightning are our predominant attacks right now, so I can live with it. Um, we need more offensive Arcana, and we're definitely, like, not there yet. We'll probably wait till next floor. We might wait until the first boss. But I really think, like... Again, I'm, I'm probably not one of the best players on Earth in this game. But I do think... That tiny crocodile heart on the first floor is maybe like one of the best items you can get. It has a very limited downside and a potentially like enormous upside. It also enables us to take things that made our last run so good, like glass cannon, for example. Now, kind of took our time on the first floor here more than we usually do. Cannot afford to buy anything there. We don't really want heals. I'm not going to buy another arcana because I don't like buying unupgraded arcana. And it's a strategy that has more or less worked for me recently. We're starting to dig ourselves out of this hole, again, Blanche Dubois style, by the kindness of strangers. I can't remember if I made that Blanche Dubois reference in an Isaac episode or a, a Wizard of Legend episode, but hopefully you're watching both. If not, uh, why do you hate me and want me to fail? There we go. I will fight the boss. I'm not too nervous about fighting the boss early. I was just hoping maybe we'd hit a shop or something. Alchemist Stone, Spiked Emergency Kit, Aberrant Cologne. It's Signature Charge, right? All Chaos Gems are transmuted into gold. Never mind, this is also an insanely good item for us, because 150 Chaos Gems... We only need 30 Chaos Gems to give us everything that we want to have. What does that mean? Well, what do we want? We want to start with 200 gold. Help. We want to start with 200 gold, and we want to start with a random run. That costs us 30. So as long as we have 150, you know, it's not like we're in short supply or anything. You're starting to really see, I hope, by the way, the innate desire that I have for more Arcana, because... <laughs> The fact that we spend like a half of every fight just dashing until ball lightning comes off cooldown is not going to do us a great service long term on this run. Luckily, we are about to go to our boss fight, which also means we get a guaranteed heal, so we probably don't need to buy a potion on this floor, but we'll see. Don't get me wrong, I think the bolus is okay. It's just, uh... And actually... That Arcana is not at all what I'm looking for. We did get a Relic Rewards card, which is pretty solid. Um, Water Prison is not horrible, but it's exactly the same as Bolus. You know, it's it's a yet another option we use to lock enemies down and wait for Ball Lightning to recharge. Case in point. Like, it's getting the job done, but we definitely want to replace those pretty quickly. Water Prison might be a little bit better, because it also, uh... Prevents enemies from attacking, whereas Bolus just prevents them from moving. Oh, dude, we don't get a signature charge too often. Nice, we used it entirely to hit one enemy, who wasn't that much of a threat to begin with. For fighting a single enemy that actually responds to the crowd control, it's not bad. Apart from that, eh, it's not so good. So this is... Crits. Man, we have so many relics already. Covert Ops Mask. 
After evading an attack, all of your attacks are critical hits for a short duration. I don't know. We don't evade that much. Let's, um... I'm not going to buy the heal yet. We still have an Arcana shop. We definitely should go to it. We have 227 gold, which will allow us to buy upgraded Arcana. It's probably right here. And that is an upgraded Arcana. So, really, right now, the way that I look at this run is our first priority is a damage Arcana. Our second priority is probably replacing Water Prison with another damage Arcana. Especially because we already have the upgraded Bolus. See, I don't know if that's actually going to do anything, but <laughs> it did do some damage. Yeah, it's not going to be the fastest boss fight we've ever had. Oh, my lord. Help. We have another signature? How did that happen? Not that I'm complaining, because we might be able to kill her before the ult comes out. Never mind, we're in the middle of the ult right now. My brain was just so broken, I didn't realize. Alright, that could have been worse, and we're over 500 uh, HP. Definitely would like some heals. Dude, okay, so Creeping Tendrils is great, but it's kind of in the same boat as Bolus, more or less. Where we have... It does do damage, I'll admit. It, it's actually better because of the damage, I think, but... Still a little spotty, wouldn't you say? That that heal was mission critical, I think. Excuse me, sir. We really, until we get some kind of healing relic, if we're lucky enough for that to ever happen. Be cool. We really need to minimize our damage taken. I still have no idea why every signature is getting charged twice. I feel like I must be missing something obvious for that to happen, but... And I'm not complaining. Plus, I got this cool mask. As of right now, we're basically getting hit, like, at least once per combat, sometimes more. And it's a little embarrassing. I actually like everything that we've got. Uh, I think we've, we've been blessed to have a great opportunity to pick up predominantly pretty good relics. The real problem with this run right now, as it stands, is with Arcana, but there's plenty of time to compensate for that. Just a few less crowd controllers, and a few more, like, boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. We'll spend the night together from now until forever, Arcanas. I gotta admit, that went pretty well, too. Wait, what was the red room? I know it, it's like a, usually a cursed shop. It's it's something with, that's positive but could be negative. Shattering Strike. I actually think Shattering Strike is pretty good. And this is where, oh, it was the Relic uh, Seller, I remember now. Or the Relic Purchaser, I should say. Um, don't even try it, buddy. Thank you for the help. Um, man, ma max HP is balling out of control as well. Hello. Please stop this. You can see the status effects are kind of balling out. I totally... I had something to say. Oh, what I was going to say is I'm getting greedy. And as much as I, I do want... Excuse me, I got trapped for a second there and I am very upset. As much as I want to uh, damage Arcana, because we have the Wolf Cloak, and again, this is where you're going to be like, please just take some damage. Um, because we have the Wolf Cloak, I also find myself being like, I really, really, really want it to be Lightning Damage Arcana or Fire Damage Arcana. We still have a signature. That's weird. I, I don't know if this is a bug or what. So gummy vitamins are horrible, in my opinion. Not to consume, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's air damage, lo uh, extra crits on low HP, freezing sprite, <sighs> might be okay. Armor of resolve, let's try it. Increases armor well at low health. I don't think that's good, but it might not be horrible. 
And for you, my friend, you can take the gummy vitamins and we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. So I'm saving my money for the opportunity for more fire or lightning arcana, hopefully. I think it's becoming pretty clear. I'm not really using the E as much as I should. And it might not necessarily be that like this combination of stuff is bad. It just doesn't really fit my play style, I think. Wow. You coming over? My parents aren't home. Don't be gross. I can sit here all day. Thank you. I need a little bit more damage in my life. That's the thing. Wow, it worked. Um, I, I don't play these, like, tactical runs for the most part. I don't play them by choice, at least. I'm much more of the... Wow, botched it miserably. I'm much more of the, like, hey, let's just, like, go into the room and use every single one of our abilities all at once in the dead center and hope it works out for us. Vampire's Eyeglasses is insanely great, and I will take Healing Potion as well. We should still be able to buy an Arcana, is my guess. So now when we crit, we will heal. You know what? I will give you a chance. Just please do not take... Uh, well, he can't take my Lightning. I, that's fine. And dude, give me, uh, give me the exact same as our basic, but facing northeast instead of to the west. Far left, guaranteed. Told you. Now, let's put Creeping Tendrils here. Leave Exploding Fireball on R. That's what I'm more familiar with. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it, and it's worked out pretty well so far. Now, we don't need any of your garbage anymore. To put it succinctly. Because we're in the clear, baby. And what do I mean by that? Well, what do you mean by that? Ah, I didn't think this room through. Okay. What I'm getting at is now that we have Exploding Fireball, we got rid of one of our crowd controlling options, which was the Bolus. Unfortunately, it's upgraded, whereas our Water Prison isn't, but it was still worth it. We got something that works with the Wolf Cloak and is also ranged and fairly high damage, I think. Moreover, we got to keep Creeping Tendrils, which I actually think is pretty strong. So we should have two signatures, just because I don't understand. Yeah, see, like we got bring, bring. You get the idea. 787 HP, huh? What's weird is that like, I'm surprisingly, I wouldn't say unconfident. Oh Lord. But that number doesn't make me that excited because I know I'm taking a lot of damage as well. I would much prefer at this point, instead of stacking more HP, to stack up uh, more of an ability to not have to use the existing HP we have. But it's nice because, you know, you look at this and you go, oh, our HP is pretty low, but it actually isn't. It's very high. It's higher than your default HP would be with the, the health robe on. Now it's not because I'm extremely bad and just took like 180 damage. Yeah, use the water prison a little bit more. I have this hesitancy to use it. That was worth it. To not take 50 damage from standing in that. Of course, it would have been much better to just dodge out of the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna heal a little bit, but I do feel like a baddie. Because I'm playing like a baddie. He, he is a big baddie, so I call him big baddie. Don't forget. Ah. This guy is the easiest boss, probably. Even though I did take damage. His attacks are the easiest to dodge. Except for that one. That one's real tough. Yeah, don't forget it. That one's just a nightmare. Anyway, he's dead, thankfully. I... Is that Arcana Rewards? That's kind of amazing. We got both of the Rewards cards. I'll tell you what. 
Oh, we already bought our heal on this floor. I don't think we should buy anything else. Because, especially on the relic front, we only have one relic spot. We're like Tia Carrere. We've hunted too many relics. Now, this is a delicate operation. This guy could be a bit of a problem. One more. No, two more. Ah, I botched it miserably. I love that the water prison kills those first three projectiles he sends out somehow. You're done. You got one more. Don't forget about that. It was worth it. We dodged. I stepped in the poison. Entirely my own fault. Okay, we definitely do want to buy heals on the next floor. Things are getting a little scary. That's a wind slash, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want that. Although it's upgraded, and maybe I do want it. It doesn't do as much damage because of the cloak, but I actually think it's just better because it's upgraded. And if we can replace it with an upgraded fire basic... <coughs> pardon me. Absolutely fine by me. It's, it's kind of a stopgap measure that if we have to make it permanent, okay, fine, we'll make it permanent. So certainly, in spite of our, oh my lord, in spite of our incredible HP right now, max HP, I find myself concerned. And I think I should be. We only heal for one off of our crits right now. And we don't have too many Arcana that do, like, enough damage or they do let me put it this way they don't do enough like the frequency of the hits so that like oh we you know when we press Q there's a hundred attacks and if ten of them crit then we're in the money you know we heal for ten we don't have many arcana that do that maybe ball lightning which we just missed with but in my defense we had about one millisecond there to make it happen Gotta love it. You almost lived. Okay, this is a floor that, from my standpoint, it's all about rebuilding. I see the ones pop up. I don't always see them healing me. It makes me very concerned. Well, actually, that's foolish. We did heal for, like, 10 there. Then I got a hit for 15. Maybe that's the problem, more so than any of the other things I've been pointing to so far. How do we get around that? Actually, great question. Unfortunately, the answer is going to make you upset, because I really think the answer is play better. We have to. Adds a chance that enemies will explode when defeated. I'm not against the idea. Now we got a chance. HP's looking better. You know, we have a chance to rebuild. The start back at one, like Brian McKnight. 438 HP is nothing to sneeze at. Just try not to lose, like, 300 on any given one room. Don't get greedy. Don't get, uh... You know, don't overcommit. Just play it cool. You'll probably be fine. Probably be fine. I didn't say definitely. It's nice, you know, to be in this position, actually, in uh, Wizard of Legend now. I would definitely say I don't go into Wizard of Legend runs expecting to win. But I do go in expecting to have a chance to win. Uh, and, and we've been having really good success lately, for sure. I just... I, it's not me trying to say, like, oh, the game's hard and I'll never win. There's people who do that in Isaac all the time. They're like, yeah, I win, like, 98% of my games. We'll probably lose this one. Nah. Not about that lifestyle. All I'm saying is it's, a, it's been a long road for us to get there. 
to get to this point now where like whenever I start a Wizard of Legend run, even if things are going wrong, I sort of see in my head like the way that they could get better. There's actually like a really nice amount of healing there. Hello! Just back off, get your own sandwich. Oh! Dude, I still don't understand the double signature. Love you too, have a good time. I will never complain about the double signature. I will only complain... Oh, Counter Rogue is insanely annoying. On this level. I will only ever complain about my lack of knowledge that leads me to not understand why we're getting double signatures. He's probably healing, right? Yeah. I really thought I could dodge it. Just didn't have quite as much time as I'd like. Hello. You gotta go, dude. You've like, you gotta be gone yesterday. Taking way too long. It'll work. We cannot get rid of gummy vitamins. Um, they're not very good is the problem with them. It's not that I have like a personal vendetta, it's just that they're kind of bad. Help me. Help me get away from myself. Oh, jeez Louise, okay. Dude, this is a scary room. There is, like, absolutely no reason to be fighting here, except hubris. And I'm being very hubristical, and I apologize for that. Arcana shop. Nah, 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 nah. We haven't found our red shop yet, though. Could be a llamas. You never want to say no to a llamas. What did I tell you? No need to imprison him, probably. I wish you hadn't gone so far away. Easy money. What's your arcana? I don't like it. I actually just don't. Uh, not trying to be negative. What are we going to do with 690 gold, my dude? I don't know. It's our last, like, real floor here before things hit the fan, though. So, we did heal a lot. Terrible whiff two times in a row there. Keep the healing up, and just because you took a little damage early on here, that doesn't mean you're done. You know, that's just... Mistakes happen. Arcana shop we can already say no to. I wouldn't mind getting rid of our... Uh, our water prison. You are a fool. I, like, actually walked backwards right before... You know what? I'm not fighting you. This is a terrible room. I walked backwards right before I went over the pit. Not a sensible decision. By the way, have you noticed we're healing for two now instead of one? Whenever we get a crit? Oh, sometimes we're healing for two. I actually don't know what the cause of that is. At this point, actually overpriced insurance is genius. Spend all gold <coughs> at the start of each stage and heal for a fraction of the expended amount. So we can abuse the fact. That's fine for now. We can abuse the fact that we have an insane amount of gold to probably get us close to full HP for the ice boss fight. And if we don't take any damage on the ice boss, or we take very little damage on the ice boss fight, because taking none is probably unrealistic, um, we'll probably be at good HP for the final boss as well, which is very encouraging and exciting, I would say. Now, why did I drop two relics there? We, we probably are not gonna need either of them, so this just makes space for, like, one other relic in the future. That's my mindset. Gotta be a little scared there. I actually think... Well, we should probably go to the relic shop, like...
This worked out extremely well. Just build a signature, please. We have so much gold, but I, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather not spend the gold. And in return, we should get more of a heal out of it. Oh, we did it. Just don't waste them. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's going to seem like a rush job. I understand that. But it's going to take all our gold anyway. This should take us up to 787. Because I thought it's 1 HP per 2 gold. It is. That's amazing. So actually, unless things go absolutely horribly here. We should be in a really, really good spot for our final boss fight. Which I think we need. Because this is not nearly as strong uh, as our last opportunity for fighting the boss. Now that was just unfair. <laughs> you know what? You got me on that one. That's one. Two. Oh my god. Holy crap. Huge miss on my part here so far. Making some terrible mistakes. Oh my god. It's not getting any better. Hit her with both. You got her. You got her. That was insanely lucky at the end of that one to pull away and do like 300 damage instantaneously. So we're going to heal for another 45 when we head down. We're going to be at like 6 something for the final boss. I'm nervous, but on the surface, I'd like to think that I look calm and ready. Yeah, 670. That's not too bad. No promises, but there's there's a chance here. So much slower than our last run. But my dream is that uh, my signature charges, if we ever get them, should make up for it. As of right now, does not appear too freaking likely. But it's kind of hard to argue, except for that little mistake right there. We actually performed really well. It was just slow. Now we got a little bit more combo potentials, the, the hope. We have no gap closer, though, which is really bad. We're going to have to, like, nickel and dime. At least we got something going there. Uh, you're in a prison right now, by the way. You should not be able to attack. I really thought we were going to be safe. I thought we were going to be safe again. That's the damage we're hoping for, dude. Get out, get out. Okay, that's fine. Just roll it. You don't need to be greedy here. Take care of these. We should win. Dude, we're the best. For us to pull that one out when things looked a little spotty on the first floor, I'm really proud. I think we're doing very well in this game right now. I've hit my flow. I've hit my cheese state. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Please, I have a roundtable podcast to be at very shortly. If you don't mind let me escape thanks for watching hope you guys have enjoyed the episode that was a really good one if you did enjoy it click the like button helps it a great deal of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now thanks for watching and i will see you next time beep boop